the near gothic facade of the houses of parliament has been like a magnet pulling us across the bridge however this is not the only gift that the palace of westminster revealed after a fire in 1834 by the victorian architect sir charles berry has to offer nor despite its majesty is big ben its only treasure to really get to know everything that this palace has to offer, we are going to take a good look around the monuments of Westminster. Join us and discover the seat of the British Parliament, composed of the House of Lords and the House of Commons. The first of these is a neo-Gothic chamber presided over by a dark color throne which contrasts with the red on the benches. According to tradition, the monarch cannot enter the House of Commons, a much more austere affair with green color benches where the opposing members of parliament face each other, separated by a gangway. The oldest part of the palace is Westminster Hall. It is one of the largest medieval halls in Europe and has been used for a number of trials and ceremonial purposes, including the wakes of Edward IV and Winston Churchill. Going back outside, we are faced with one of the buildings and London's most iconic architectural elements, the Clock Tower. Universally known as Big Ben, it is a 96 with 3 meter tall Victorian Gothic structure. The name is a reference to the enormous 14 tone bell and could have its origins in Benjamin Hall, the commissioner of works who oversaw the tower's construction, or it could allude to Benjamin Kant, a famous boxer of the time. Every time that Parliament is in session, a light on the top of each face of the tower is lit. Big Ben is the second most photographed building in the world, but it is not the only tower at the palace. To the west is the Victoria Tower, 104 meters tall, and it is from the summit of this tower that the British flag is flown. The tower is used as the repository for the archives of Parliament. 